Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. So our old friend here has reached uh, Tier 1. So now we're going to be able to start playing uh, Tier 1 missions. As you can see right here. Uh, there's also the last one of Krypton mission we could play. Uh, well, I'll play that some other time. I'll make a video specific specifically for that. And also, just to be sure, basically last time we got a bit ready. We purchased uh, what we needed for our mainframe. Basically, I, I spent a whole bunch of source marks purchasing uh, the tactical mods and the boost. So you can see, if we, if we look at my gear, I have a whole bunch of uh, white mods in my gear that will give me a few, uh, a few extra bonuses. Uh, if you're wondering where to get those tactical mods, once you purchase the tactical mods from the mainframe, then you just come to this little dispenser and you can, you can get the tactical mods from here. And then once you open the capsule, you can choose which mod you actually want from there. Uh, let's pull back a bit. I have a tendency to play close to my character. Uh, what can I do? And also we have, act we have activated our generator. Uh, let's take a quick look. So you can see the power level. Uh, all the power levels are activated. Uh, we have a few mods uh, for our teleporter, which aren't very useful. But that uh, doesn't really matter. And we also have a few mods. One support mod and one offense mod. So it won't make a big difference, but uh, every little bit helps. Here you can see we still have the Marks of Victory symbol next to the little 5 over there. But nowadays it's, uh, it's no longer Marks of Victory. It's actually uh, Source Marks that's required. And some of you guys have been asking about Source Marks. Basically, Source Marks is the currency. Uh, DC Universe Online is pretty much two games into one. Uh, the first part of DC Universe Online, you go from level 1 to level 30. And like a lot of other games, you, you earn experience points. And as you earn experience points, your character goes up in level. Once you reach level 30, that's no longer the case. Uh, you no longer earn experience point. Uh, once you reach level 30, you have to increase the combat rating of your character. If we look over here right now, our combat rating is uh, 33. There's also a PvP combat rating, which somehow, well, I don't have any PvP gear, I guess. So once you reach level 30, then uh, you no longer earn experience. What you have to do is you have to increase the combat rating of your character. And in order to be able to do that, you have to increase the level of your gear. So right now I have some gear that's level 28, 34, 30, 27. So as I equip better gear on my character, I should be able to go up in level. And also some of you guys have been asking, how can you earn source marks? Uh, basically, once you reach level 30, you gain access to a whole, bunch, a whole bunch of missions in the Unduty menu, and that is where you are going to be able to get source marks from. So you can see pretty much any, any tier 1 missions, well, pretty much any mission from, from the Unduty menu will give you source marks, but you can see there's a requirement. If you look at rewards, you see combat rating, uh, for in this case, from combat rating 30 to combat rating 53, uh, missions like Area 51, Ace Chemicals, Watchtower Containment, and Smallville will give me source marks. And once in a while, you'll see that little uh, shining star. Basically, it gives it will give us uh, some bonus source marks whenever there's that little star next to our uh, next to the mission. So ideally, if you want to have a little bit of extra source marks, you want to play those missions. I guess there's on. Oh, there we go. So you can see here, um, right now we don't have access, but Cape Carmine uh, today would give uh, some extra marks. And let's see if there's one over here. Well, I guess not. So once in a while, you'll see missions that will give a bit of extra uh, rewards. So you try to enjoy it while you can. So I guess we can go to the Watchtower. And I'll show you just uh, one more thing, and then we'll get started playing uh, missions. So basically, you, you, as you go up in level, you should uh, go from vendor to vendor to upgrade your gear. But they've made a little change. They've added this little uh, vendor over here. That is the mechanical supply officer. Have a fine day, combatant. 
So right now that little guy is selling uh, some tier 1 set of gear, but once I, I go past uh, tier 1, then he's going to be selling uh, tier 2, and once I go past tier 2, he'll sell tier 3. So basically the gear that l this little guy is selling will scale with my character. So as my character goes up in, in combat training, the, the gear that this guy is selling will go up in combat training as well. But if somehow you want to have the actual vendor that's selling the gear, uh, we will, I will show you as, as, we, uh, as we play again the game. So enough uh, stalling, uh, let's start with one tier one mission. Uh, let's start with an easy one because uh, why not. So we'll start with the 8th uh, precinct, so let's get started. Obviously, since I'm solo, the cure should pop uh, almost automatically, but you never know. There's a few ways that uh, you can speed up the process a bit. Like right now, if you, you may have noticed, I did not purchase any tier 1 set of gear just yet. Uh, the reason for that is quite simple. I, I think it's a waste at this point. Usually you earn a new gear quickly enough that you don't really need to purchase any. Oh yeah, I just realized I probably should have upgraded my... Uh, Come on. There we go. I probably should have upgraded my uh, loadout. I'll do that uh, next time, I suppose. The loadout I have should work well enough. I also another source, another place where you get source marks. It was from Prometheum lockboxes. I'll show it to you in just a minute. Sadly, for Prometheum lockboxes, you have to purchase keys to open the Prometheum lockboxes unless you are a legendary player. If you are a legendary player, then you can open uh, Prometheum lockboxes uh, without having to spend any extra money. If you are not a legendary player, I strongly, strongly advise do not purchase keys. It's not worth it. You'll see in just a minute. Basically, you get uh, some sort of style. Or you can get a proto mail bot if you like, or you can get a base item, or you can get a compound omega. None of that is worth, I think it's one dollar for a key, none of that is worth that. Even the source mark is is not worth that. Well, let's go see, it's been a while since I checked. So for Prometheum, for, for Prometheum log boxes, uh, let's go probably in supply. Alright, there we go. So it's uh, 72 market cash for a Prometheum key. It's cheaper than I remembered. Or 288, so roughly three bucks for, for five. So you decide if you want to purchase some, but I would, I would strongly uh, suggest against that. So Prometheum, Prometheum lock boxes is one thing that will give you uh, source marks. Uh, the vault, oh yeah, yeah, I probably should have run the vault, I'll do that after. The vault is another thing that will give you source marks, but roughly play, just playing a uh, mission from the on duty menu, uh, that alone should give you a whole bunch of source marks. And if you still need some barrels, don't hesitate to use them. Fool, to, to challenge me? me? Cyborg, deal with your savior. You want You can try to interrupt uh, our friend Cyborg when he's trying to heal himself. But I have more. Starfire, kill them. As you can see, they're upgrading the models uh, slowly but surely. They've upgraded the Cyborg, they've upgraded the Starfire. I suspect it's only a matter of time before they upgrade uh, Nightwing, Donna Troy, or, uh, or Raven. Although I could have sworn I saw a new model for Donna Troy. Cyborg, why are you and I fighting? Trigon's been using Raven to control us. Nightwing. Nightwing. You, you are, are powerless, powerless to resist. resist. Destroy, Destroy them. them. Huh. Okay, you got my attention. Huh. Almost hurt. Huh. It's like waking up from a bad 
dream. We can't stop now. Trigon still controls Raven, and Raven still controls Donna. Donna, Donna Troy. Troy. Obey, Obey Trigon's, Trigon's will. will. And, and destroy, destroy the, the titans. titans. Oh no, she wants to destroy us. She's so mean. It's already upon you. This world is mine. I'm not sure why they only made uh, the chest piece for Donna Troy uh, with the cosmic material. Thanks for jumping in. Raven's fighting him, but Trigon's hold is getting stronger. We have to find her and help her. Our best chance is to split up and search. Starfire and I will take the upper levels. I'll search the rest of this floor. Sounds like a plan. The hero and I will take the holding level. Come on! Oh, and you may have noticed, uh, I purchased a bad girl cape to my Batman character. I figured I'm going to play uh, this character for a bit more, so uh, why not? It was about 200,000 on the broker, so I thought I could afford it. So the reason why I purchased uh, white mods in my generator or my mainframe instead of purchasing gear once I reach uh, tier 1 is because your gear you need to replace your gear uh, qu very quickly at this point as opposed to your white mods. Your white mods will stick with you uh, pretty much until the end of the game. So I thought it would make more sense to invest in the white mods instead of investing in uh, some gear that will be obsolete. Uh, in just a couple of hours. So early on you can just upgrade your gear by playing missions. Normally missions will give you uh, some rewards. Some of them should give you gear. I'm uh, pretty sure they all uh, give you gear but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there's uh, something I forgot. Like maybe, I know some missions at some point uh, would give you gear for the wrong role sometimes. Like you would be a controller and you'd keep on getting uh, tank gear or healer gear. Uh, that was a bit frustrating sometimes, but no sign of nowadays so uh, pretty much all the gear should be unattuned, I think. So that should not be an issue anymore, but uh, I might be just remembering. So we have our brand new bad girl cape. Which make our character looks even more like a uh, Batman. All we really need, I guess, right now is a nice uh, pair of gloves. Oh well. Let's go talk to our friend Zatanna. And also Zatanna, you can see they're using uh, the new Zatanna model, Glad which looks really nice. Up. I'm holding her body in one place, but Raven's fighting Trigon deep in her soul. I can feel it. What can we do? I've got to stay here to keep the portal open, but only a true magical warrior can enter that soul self. The second that happens, I'm teleporting everyone else out of here. It's all up to you. I know you and Raven can beat him down. I can't keep Raven contained for long. She's opened a portal to her soul self. She wants us to help her fight. You are too late. Raven is broken. Trigon's day has come. Oh no, we're too late. She, she is merely a vessel for my power. I will tear your soul asunder. 
So you'll notice as you play uh, some of the, the missions from the Unduty menu, some of them come uh, are similar to missions you played uh, as you leveled up. Sometimes it's the exact very same missions. Sometimes uh, it's quite uh, it's a bit different. There are subtleties that are different, so it makes it a bit uh, confusing sometimes uh, after a while. But you'll get used to it. Here we have to defeat. Uh, there's a uh, two, three different uh, evil version of uh, Raven that we have uh, possessed this Raven spirit, so we have to defeat them. And after that, we'll have to fight uh, the actual Raven. Ah, daughter, your will returns. What's left of it? Try on. You will leave this place. Actually, still a possessed spirit. The actual Raven is our friend helping us. She's so nice. I know it's still the spirit of Raven. Oh well. So you here we could choose a weapon. We're not going to do that. We'll choose a, we could choose a source marks if for some reason we don't have, we don't want the piece of gear. But at this point, uh, the piece of gear is what makes uh, the most sense. So let's go for that. And we also got a source mark. We got a visage. We got uh, some sentinels of magic commendation. We got uh, a weekly box. Uh, basically, from tier one to tier five, I think you get the weekly awards whenever you play a mission. So let's talk to our friend Raven. Evil power has entered this world through me but you have saved my soul and I thank you I hope you will fight at my side when his dark day comes and in a nutshell uh, solo missions will give you one source mark a duo will give you two uh, four player missions give you four I think and eight player missions give you eight uh, no I think eight player missions give you ten but uh, it's been a while I could be mistaken I have to admit, it's been so long, uh, I haven't really paid attention anymore. So here we've completed the 8th uh, Precinct solo mission. And nowadays also, you can see we're going to get 5 source marks from that. Uh, they've added to the uh, to the journal, basically missions, uh, so let's complete it just to see. So we got 5 source marks. And next we're going to have to complete the Gotham University. Eons ago, when I was playing this universe online, we didn't have that. So I guess they're trying to make sure that people understand what to do once they reach uh, level 3D. So let's get out of here. So eons ago, when you would when you would reach level 3D, you would start playing uh, any mission you wanted. And I guess you can still do that, but right now they're trying to uh, to guide players a bit more, I suppose. So right now the next mission they, they suggest would be to cure for uh, Gotham University Tier 1 Duo. So I guess they're trying to, they give you one mission to understand the, the solos, now they're, getting, they're asking you to play a mission in order for you to understand the duos. Uh, let's see if we can do that. Normally when I play, uh, when I make tutorial or videos, I try to stick to solo missions or content that I can play solo. Because you never know, like right now, it's been a while since I played uh, some low level missions uh, duos and I have no idea how long it'll take for the, the cure to pop. So we'll, oh, it didn't take too long. So let's hope we get a good partner. And we're, oh, it's a tank that's a combat rating 269. So we should uh, be able to complete this mission fairly quickly. Uh, 
sadly at 269 our friend will probably destroy uh, everything on his path. I'm a bit surprised, I'm not sure why uh, someone, someone so high level would want to play that, so that uh, little mission. But sadly the alternative would have meant uh, waiting and waiting and waiting, so I won't complain about that. With some missions, sometimes the challenge is trying to keep up with the high level guy. But luckily, uh, I've been here long enough, shouldn't be an issue. We'll come back for briefings. At least I hope we can come back. Ritual must not be interrupted. Rise! Ah, uh, he ran away. Usually I grab this little stone here and I throw it in the uh, the cucaracha, but uh, today we won't have to. Was a little uh, chesty chest. Don't let them get any further. So there is this little guy who summons a whole bunch of evil mummies. So let's see if we can. Uh, uh, let's select. Uh, let's select the pair of gloves. So you have to hurry up a bit, your partner could leave you behind, so you have to make sure you don't get stuck behind. Stand back, Black Adam, and watch your love return to our world. Faust! What trickery is this? She does not live! Her flesh, it's rotting! Give her more of your powers! Do not hold back! Growing so weak. <laughs> Poor Black Adam. The powers of Shazam are mine. Poor pitiful Black Adam. Now merely Teth Adam. Forever. Faust, what have you done? These vines will hold you close to me, dearest Adam. Here's our uh, various stages to defeat uh, Isis. At first, you will summon a whole bunch of undead, although sometimes she summon uh, cockroaches. Or scarabs, I should say. So once we defeat, come on. Rejoice, mortal. Your soul feeds a goddess. That was quick. So Zab! Help me! You are lucky that I do not kill you here and now. You and Faust will both pay for what you have done. 
So let's go for the, the weapon. It's going to be an upgrade for our character. Let's give a little bow to our friend. And we get a little feat. I guess I already picked that one up. I'm not sure if we can backtrack. Oh yeah, we can. I'm going to show you a couple of things here uh, in this map, just in case. The first thing is I'm going to show you our friend uh, that's over here. There he is. This is our old friend Ambush Bug. Just joking. Ambush Bug is no soulless creature of the undead. Or is he? Brains. So there's, uh, I think there's four or five duos where our friend Ambush Bug is hiding. Uh, you have to find him and it, it gives you a feat when you do. It's pretty much uh, that simple. And let's go pick up the collection and uh, investigation that I forgot to pick uh, more previously. Oh, wrong way. If you guys recall, we did play uh, in this map as a solo mission when we leveled up, but somehow I hadn't picked up uh, the investigation, so now I did. So let's get out of here. Uh, there's a little vendor over here if you need it. I guess I didn't need it. And let's get out of here. So I wonder if they're going to give us a mission where we have to play a four-player mission. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they did. It'll probably be Area 51, but uh, maybe not. So let's complete our Gotham University uh, mission. So we've got eight source marks, that's nice. And yeah, the next one, uh, so the next one will be complete Area 51. And you can see here they're giving us 13 source marks to, to play that one. I'm wondering uh, if they're going to have us play a eight-player mission. Uh, we'll see. But before we do that, let's go back to our base. So as you saw in our couple of missions, we got a few uh, pieces of gear, so let's see if that's going to help us a bit. And also we got a few weekly awards. So let's equip our new weapon. Oh, the belt is only good for the style. Oh, that's so sad. Now let's equip our new gloves. And these will scale to the level of our character, so let's wait if we can see, if we can get maybe another, uh, another piece of style. Or another piece of gear, I should say. Oh, we got a chest piece. Uh, sadly, it's a level 32 chest piece. So it's not as good as the one we already have. And let's see in the box. Oh, we got a nice headpiece. So let's equip that. So right now our combat rating went up to 35. So now let's equip our... Uh, hmm, the pants or... Uh, I guess we have no choice. So now let's equip our... Uh, let's uh, try to get our pants. So you can see we got a level item level 34 pair of pants. So let's uh, I usually go for the controller. And let's imprint our new uh, our new items. So as you can see it it, it brought our combat rating to 36. And also it gave us a commendation for our sentinels of magic, so let's consume that. I could have sworn we would get another one. Oh well. So uh, with the gear that we have that we don't no longer need, uh, there's two things we could do. The first thing is we could we could sell it for cash, obviously. Or we could decide to salvage it for crafting a component. 
I uh, will salvage a few just to show you. But at this stage, you may want to, to just sell it. Uh, at least you have enough. So here you can see it gave us some flawed and some solid uh, MK2 exobytes. And uh, let's see if we could upgrade. When we, if we wanted to, we could upgrade uh, some of our flawed MK2 exobyte. Uh, I'm not going to do that. It's a waste of exo material to do that at this point. It's something that I only do towards the end game. So let's sell a few of the do those we no longer need, like the gloves here. This is a crafting component. Uh, well, let's keep it just in case. Uh, for the soda, I don't really need them anymore, but I'll keep them just in case. So let's sell that. For the Gotham Freight Yards, um, I should probably try to sell it on the broker to try to get a bit of extra cash. But nah, let's just sell it here. I'm feeling a bit lazy tonight. So that's pretty much it for starting uh, tier one today. And next time, what we'll do is that we'll try to play uh, the Area 51 uh, from the tier one missions. I guess we could try to play the containment, uh, the Watchtower containment facility, uh, in order to be able to get a few extra marks. Uh, we'll see. May maybe next time it won't be that mission though. And we'll probably try to continue playing uh, a few tier 1 missions. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see for that. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. So uh, just a quick... Uh, oh, we got a new mail. Oh, that's probably for the uh, investigation we completed previously. So let's accept. Let's see if it's going to be a good style or not. Uh, actually, it'll give us a style. Oh yeah, and we got the little uh, Warrior of Spring, which we already had. Oh well. So let's go sell uh, our Egyptian headpiece. So next time we'll try to play Area 51. It's a bit challenging early on because uh, it's a pretty big map and uh, players usually have a tendency to go each their own way. So it's kind of hard to try to get the, the group to stay together at that point, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do next time. So that's uh, pretty much. Pretty much <clears throat> so that's pretty much it for now, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. So as always, guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.